I've already brought you more than 60 curiosities of the GTA V missions, but it's still far from over because there's a lot of missions in this game. So in today's video I'll be bringing you 30 more very amazing curiosities of GTA V in the missions. You who like the channel, leave that like monster, leave your like to generate that morale, that strength. Let's start. Continuing from where we left off last time, we're going to the mission around those who didn't go. We had stopped at the mission fame or disgrace in the mission around those who didn't go. Michael gets hit in the head by Dave, and as strange as it may seem, he doesn't wake up again until the exact moment when the guys will open his body, which is very strange because he shouldn't have passed out so easily. I didn't understand how this mission worked. If you don't press to wake up, you'll end up dying with the saw or the knife opening you in the middle. Which is strange too, since Michael should wake up when someone pierced his body. So in theory, you should be able to continue the mission. And the mission shouldn't fail, but with less blood. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coronet. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Get ready with the bone saw and the rib spreader. You might want to hold your nose. A very strange thing about this mission is that after strangling the doctors and Michael waking up, he calls Dave. But why the hell would a cell phone be with the deceased and not with his belongings in the other room as happens with guns? Very, very strange. The next mission is 2 is good, 3 is awesome. This is the mission where the characters appear together for the first time. In this case, I'm talking about the three characters. This is also the mission where Trevor and Franklin meet. If Trevor and Franklin meet before this mission, there will be no interaction. Only a shootout if you start. The agent who is questioning Mr. K is Michelle from GTA 4, Nick's ex-girlfriend. Apparently she's an agent who grew up a lot in the agency. When this mission is over, Trevor will take the helicopter as a form of payment. And we can see this several times during the game when Trevor confirms this to the other characters. If you don't press to break the glass in time, the agents will see you from the outside and the mission will fail. I thought that when the agents saw us, the mission would probably continue from there. The mission at the foot of the letter. If we start the mission with Michael and get there, Trevor will be s -assed. If you go there and take a look, you'll really have a poop on the floor. If you don't like to torture people like me, you can get to the part of Shumesh, which is after torturing the guy for the first time, and already shoot the guy who is really the target. Even if Mr. K hasn't said yet who will be the target, the mission will not fail, because Michael said he had a premonition, and Dave accepts it without problems. No matter how many teeth you take from Mr. K, the dialogues will always be as if you had removed just one tooth. When you get to Grove Street, most of the time you can see a CJ Easter egg. CJ is from the beginning of GTA San Andreas, making reference to Ryder and Switch along with CJ in the beginning of GTA San Andreas. In addition to being dressed practically the same, they also have a BMX bike as in the first mission. When we are going to steal the jet skis, we can see the MC clip, it is optional to kill him or not, and this will generate different dialogues in the mission. But if you don't kill, it will appear in the GTA 5 internet newspaper that he died. I don't remember exactly what, but he dies of something. If you want to remember, leave it in the comments. If you finish the mission with Trev, he will end up asking Lamar if he is also part of the family. Since in a way he helped the family's team, Lamar and Franklin, to defeat the bullets in the territory of the bullets. 
If you finish this mission with Franklin, Franklin and Lamar will talk about where the old leaders of Grove Street are making reference to CJ and Switch and where they are now. Now about the mission. Someone spoke in yoga, ironically the mission, someone spoke in yoga, which should be a relaxation mission. It is the mission where the most swears and insults are said of all missions, with a total of at least 29 swears, depending on the language that is being spoken or read. If you use a mod to teleport to Michael's house before Jimmy ends up drugging Michael, the mission will bug and nothing else will happen, she will not fail, but she will be bugged. That's because the mission is scheduled to continue only after that Michael is being drugged so she doesn't fail, but she doesn't go forward. The game is kind of there that in a super stop limbo. If after that Michael is drugged and is falling from the sky, you hold down, you will be able to practically take hours to fall to the ground. You can fly practically through the map without any problem. The game will not fail and nothing will happen too much. Michael will only fly there practically for hours without failing the mission. Now let's go to the curiosities of the mission played rehearsed. The scene where the truck hits the side of the strong car and knocks him down is a reference to a movie called Fire Against Fire. Basically this entire mission is almost a reference even you can buy the masks equal or almost the same as those that exist in the movie that the robbers are using. This same scene generated some discussion among fans since this scene was in the trailers or in the promotional materials of the game and a lot of people ended up thinking that all scenarios would be destructible as in the part that happens when this strong car falls. This truck probably contains something more important when I refer to this truck, I'm talking about the strong car. Something more important since the police would normally not send so many reinforcements for a strong car that would be being stolen. We can see this both in random events and other parts of the game when we see a strong car being stolen. And like not seeing so many reinforcements like that gives a lot of impression there like the Paletto Bay coup, a very exaggerated reaction to a very small business. Now in the mission I fought against the law at the moment that Franklin and the two guys pass at high speed by Michael and Trevor, they are both eating curls and they drop the curls to start the chase. This is a clear reference to GTA San Andres in the mission. If I'm not mistaken, gathering families, if I'm wrong, just correct me in the comments where the police will chase you do exactly the same thing, shows a camera from behind with the two police and the two curls falling on the ground for them to go after you. During this mission, when you is chasing the vehicles being Michael or Trevor, your level search will be totally blocked so you can play the horror in everything without getting your head hot. In the air surveillance mission, there is a bug that can make you get a free setup. I never got it okay, but according to what I saw, you should take the car, get in and out of Franklin's garage there in Wienerwood, and then deliver the car normal at the end of the mission. After that, the police will go and he will be there in the courtyard. It does not work in the function repeat mission I've tried once on the PS5 and it didn't work whoever wants to test it. Test it on the PS4 or PS3 and tell me here in the comments. So you can kill Devin without failing this mission just at the end of the mission. After you leave the airport with Franklin, you go back there. Devin will be on the plane that will be in the city, but you can blow up the plane without get your head hot. If you don't kill the Z-Type owner, he will end up calling to the police and you will have a level of search if you kill him. You can because no one will end up denouncing the vehicle theft. If you, lis if you listen to all the conversations, you will see that there is a guy who is probably a follower of Lord Zalfo and if I'm not mistaken, he is sleeping and dreaming of him when the shell manigan passes by and wakes him up, giving a scare, calling him a bimbo or something like that. Zalfo! Zalfo! If we finish the mission, we switch directly to Trevor. We will see that Trevor is with the police helicopter, talking about a very smooth landing, giving to understand that he just got rid of the pilot of the plane because besides that, we can't see him inside the helicopter. In the mission Freefall, this is one of the few missions in the game where the title is in Spanish in practically all languages. If you put it in Spanish, it will obviously be in Spanish, but in Portuguese it is also in Spanish. In the beta version of the game, Trevor would not be chasing the motorcycle plane, but Franklin. Even Rockstar put a promotional photo of this that I will be showing here on the screen for you. Look at it. And yes, you can see exactly who Franklin is. It doesn't show his face, but it shows his style of clothing. We don't even have that clothes to wear with Trevor. This would probably change the whole story of the game, since the stepmother's wife would not be kidnapped, or if she were kidnapped by Trevor, it would be in another mission, and not in this one for lack of payment from the stepfather. The mission light turbulence is a bit pointless. 
since in the end Trevor couldn't end up landing the plane on Mackenzie landing strip, which is where he intended, because the plane is too big and it doesn't fit on the landing strip. In another video I ended up showing that if you tried to park the plane there, it wouldn't fit, and it wouldn't fit on the sand short runway either, so it would be completely impossible for Trevor to complete that robbery. If you go to a place where the plane crashed, you will be able to pick up weapons that were being transported. Not exactly all the weapons, but you will be able to pick up a lot of things in the bottom of the water and will always spawn new weapons. Only in this mission can we use this cargo plane, it is impossible to store, store or buy this vehicle to use off mission. So if you really want to use it off mission to do the test like I did, you have to have the GTA V on your computer and you have to have a menu mod to spawn this plane. If you set fire to the soldiers on this mission, for some very strange reason they will have the texture of catching fire but like totally not catching fire from the outside but as if it were catching fire from the inside. It's a very bizarre thing and only you guys seeing it so you can understand. So take a molotov, throw fire at the soldiers and see how they get very strange. Even if your character dies during the mission catching fire, he will also have this same texture. Well guys this is today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you liked it don't forget to leave your like. If you haven't seen the first videos of Missions Curiosities, click there because there are two videos with 30 curiosities, each one very top. That's it guys, I'll stay here until the next video, so a hug and said.